Well, they both sure look the part, don't they? Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra versus the Galaxy Book Pro 360 to see how well the Tab S8 Ultra stacks up as a laptop replacement compared to a super thin, ultra lightweight laptop like we have here with the 360. First, we'll talk about the specs and then I'll change camera angles to show you guys some of the differences. All right, so starting with the Ultra, this starts at about $1099 for the base model which is also about the equivalent for the base model of the Galaxy Book Pro 360 and also the Galaxy Book Pro 2 360, which is out for pre-order right now. Uh, they start shipping next week. So the prices are kind of a wash. They're about the same. If you pre-order the Ultra, you got the book cover keyboard, which is a $349 value included for free. But if you didn't pre-order, I would definitely suggest waiting until this goes down in price. Uh, Samsung will reduce it a couple times this year, bringing it down to like 175. With the Ultra, you do not get a charger in the box. With the Galaxy Book Pro 360, you do get a 65 watt fast charger that you can use on all your devices. It's USB-C type. Let's talk about the main things that matter in regards to what you look for in a laptop, right? The main things are gonna be the display. You're gonna care about the audio. You don't always wanna be plugged in or wearing a Bluetooth headset. We're gonna care about the port selection. We care about the keyboard and trackpad. And in this particular case, we have the added functionality of the S Pen, so we'll touch base on that as well. So let's start with the display. On the Tab S8 Ultra, we have a 14.6 inch, 37 centimeter diagonal display, coming in at 400 nits of brightness, 2960 by 1848 resolution. This is a 120 hertz refresh rate panel. And this is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is preferred by many for productivity. It gives you a little bit taller screen and a little bit less wide than the 16 by 9 aspect ratio that we have over here on the Galaxy Book Pro 360. On the Galaxy Book Pro 360, we have a 15.6 inch screen, 39.6 centimeters diagonal. This one comes in at about 300 nits of brightness. Its new successor that is coming out next week is coming in at 400 nits of brightness, so it'll be matching the Tab S8 Ultra. The resolution on here is the one gripe for many people, 1920 by 1080. That's right, it's only a full HD display, but we will do a side-by-side -side comparison of the displays. I'll put up a YouTube video you guys can judge for yourself how big a difference that is. This is a 60 hertz panel, it's not 120 hertz. And the reason this is a full HD 60 hertz panel is so that this laptop can meet Intel's Evo certification, which is their certification for getting long battery life and consuming less power. And this one does fall in that realm. Battery life, they're quoting about 21 hours for this one, and they're quoting about eight to nine hours screen on time for this one. You can cut that in half for this. And screen on time has been about seven to eight hours for me on the Ultra. This one, I believe, I mentioned earlier is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio which you're going to find out here shortly actually does have its benefits so we will talk about that and the obvious big difference between these two machines is you are running native windows here and you're running android over on the tab s8 ultra all right let's talk about ports so this is real easy for the ultra we have one port really we have the usb-c port which also features display over usb-c which gives us the ability to send our display image out to an external monitor and hook up USB hubs. On the Galaxy Book Pro 360, we have two USB-C ports, one Thunderbolt 4 port, one audio port, and you have one micro SD slot. As far as keyboard and trackpad, on the Tab S8 Ultra, we have an 80 key keyboard with no numpad. We have four levels of backlighting. We have a glass coated trackpad. We have function lock. And over here on the Galaxy Book Pro 360, we have a full size keyboard with numpad, four level backlighting, a full glass touchpad, and this is a very wide touchpad as well. And we have function lock with this keypad. Of the two, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up before we do the comparison side by side, I definitely prefer the trackpad and the keyboard on the Galaxy Book Pro 360. I think it's miles ahead of this one that you can buy separately for the Tab S8 Ultra. Not that this is a slouch by any means, but this is just far superior. I mean, when you're on this keyboard for an elongated period of time, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. It's just more premium, the clicks feel more responsive, and you have a much larger trackpad to work with. Um, the other thing too, I do notice a trackpad on the Ultra. Sometimes you have to like move it around a little bit to wake it back up. So like if you start doing something else and you go back here to this trackpad, you gotta give it the wiggles a little bit in order to wake the whole thing back up. You don't have that issue over here with the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Okay, now let's talk about the S Pen. So they both feature it and they both come with it. You're not gonna have to buy that separately. The S Pen gets stored up here if you have the keyboard cover that sits behind this flap of the kickstand. And on the Galaxy Book Pro 360, we have nowhere to sit it, but it does magnetize to the outer lid right here, up here in the corner, and it will also stick down here at the bottom edge, very tight. Like this magnet right here, ooh! 
that that's where to put it like when you're using it just sitting it off to the side keep your s pin right there i mean it is not going anywhere right there that is the most magnetized spot on the whole laptop some differences between the two we have 2.8 milliseconds of latency on the S Pin included with the Ultra, but please do keep in mind that that new 2.8 milliseconds of latency is on select Samsung apps currently at this time. The S Pin on the Galaxy Book 360 is nine milliseconds of latency. The other difference between the two is that we have Bluetooth functionality on the Ultra, which is nice for doing media controls and whatnot, but it doesn't really have much of an impact as far as it being like a laptop replacement, whereas you don't have Bluetooth controls on here. I will say from using them both quite heavily, uh, they're both great. I really like taking notes on both machines. So you see we have the S-Notes applications up on both machines. And what I really like on the 360 is that you get your full color palette, your toolbars, your, your brushes, your brush width, all of that stuff stays pinned on the right hand side because of that 16 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, you have your writing canvas over to the left, which is still plenty big. However, on the Ultra, you'll see we have what's typical on their phones. And that is you have to click on each one of these items to make a selection. You know, it doesn't give you much feedback until you start double clicking it and then you get into your widths and your colors and all that. So it's a little more clunky of an interface. However, writing on here on this Ultra mm, is just magnificent. It really is. All right, guys. So what I want to do for the rest of this video is we're going to switch off to a couple different camera angles and I'm going to show you how both of these devices work in real life situations. All right, guys, we're back with a different camera view. So what I want to do is hook up each of these two devices up to a bunch of my computer peripherals to see which one we get a better experience with. I think this is very important for you guys that are wanting to use this as like a desktop replacement or once in a while as a desktop replacement, you know, when the need arises. So let's start with the Tab S8 Ultra. We've got ourselves an old uh, keyboard here, a mouse, these, these connect via USB-A. So in order to achieve that, we're gonna use something like this. This is um, an Anchor 341. This is just a USB-C hub. I'll put a link to it down in the description. You can pick these up off Amazon for about 35 bucks. All right, so we've got the keyboard and the mouse plugged into here. We've got an HDMI out going to my gaming monitor here. That's a 1440p 165 hertz monitor. So we're gonna send the signal out to it and it's gonna plug into the Tab S8 Ultra via this USB-C connection. And there's also pass-through here as well. So if you wanna charge your Ultra while you're using this hub, you can do that. So let's go ahead and plug this in and let's see what the results are like. So let me uh, run this around the back here. I've got it pretty close to the monitor. So it's a little janky for demonstration purposes, but I think you guys get the gist all in the power of science. So let's get this plugged in. Pretty sure the monitor, yep, the light is blinking back there. So let's give it just a minute to figure out that it has something to work with. All right, there you go. Let me go ahead and tilt the screen over to you guys a little bit so you can see it. And let's check the mouse, pull up a dialer app. Hey, there we go. Let's see if we can alt tab out of here. We can alt tab between our apps. Let's try the gesture controls on the trackpad. See if it still works. Yes, it does. Can we do double gestures? No, it doesn't look like it likes two mouse clicks at once. So to do the like three finger gestures and whatnot, you're going to want to still use the trackpad. Um, one other thing I want you guys to notice, let's pull up something that is going to be bright. Let's pull up this Chrome browser. So you'll see, you'll notice something on the screen, right? That the screen is not taking up the entire monitor. The reason that is, is because this monitor, like most monitors that you buy for your desktop PCs, is a 16 by nine monitor, whereas the resolution being spit out from the Tab S8 Ultra is 16 by 10. So we do get vertical black bars on the left and right. So for the, those of you that like to use DeX, um, I'm a big fan of DeX. I'm gonna put a link in the description to an app that's just now coming out that's gonna allow you to spread your DeX workspace across multiple monitors. It starts with an H, I just forget the name of it, but I will drop it down in the description. All right, we've got the Galaxy Book Pro 360 here. We got the tab moved out of the way. So same deal, we've got the USB-C hub sitting back here somewhere. All right, so we got it out from behind that mask. Same deal, we've got the keyboard and the mouse hooked up to it. We've got the HDMI out going to the monitor. It's waiting for a signal. So on the Galaxy Book Pro 360, we can plug it into any one of the three available ports. One is Thunderbolt, the other two are USB. It doesn't matter, it's USB-C out to any of them. So we'll just grab a port over here, give it just a minute for the monitor to receive the signal. All right, great. So now behind you, you see that we have a full monitor this time, as opposed to having black bars. The reason being is we have 16 by nine going out to a 16 by nine monitor. And if we minimize here and show the resolution, we'll go to display settings and you'll see the resolution is the maximum my monitor supports, which is the 2560 by 1440. Um, keep in mind the Galaxy Book Pro 360 will, sh will shoot out up to a 4K 60 FPS screen 
and it can do up to three of them. So you can spread your desktop across three other screens and continue to use the built-in display. So as far as connectivity, port selection, and just the overall display output, I definitely have to give the edge to the Pro 360. All right, next up, let's show how well each one of these devices will sit in our laps from a portability standpoint. All right, guys, we're sitting here with the Galaxy Book Pro 360 first to my lap. Uh, the thing I really love about the 360 is that this display right here is so ultra thin that it's not top heavy at all. Do you know what I mean? Like I can just set it way down here like this, anywhere I want, and it doesn't want to like move around much at all. I really like typing on this keyboard. It feels really nice. Like I can just do what I want real quick, YouTube. And then sitting up in a normal position, yeah, it feels really good. Like I like the Galaxy Book Pro 360 a lot. All right, let's switch over to the tablet. Okay, so with the Tab S8 Ultra in a regular sitting position on your desk, it feels very much like a just a regular old laptop. I mean, it feels great. Um, no issues here at all. Let me go to Google. All right, yeah, it feels great. So now let's try putting it in our lap though, and that's a thing, right? So let's get this monstrosity over here. You have to keep the keyboard connected. The magnets aren't that strong on it. We'll put it down in our lap. So already, the one thing I notice is that it's, let me scoot over here a little bit. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but the edge is already like maxed out to my knee. And that's because we have this taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio, the screen and the keyboard and all that protrudes out quite a bit here because the deck comes out towards our stomach quite a bit. Um, it is doable though. Let's see here. See how I can type on here. Google.com. All right, I mean, and it's staying together. I'm moving my legs around here a little bit for you guys. We'll shuffle them side to side. Um, the keyboard is still attached. You know, I'm going pretty heavy, heavy handed here with the leg movements, guys. It is still staying attached. We move it up like this a little bit. It started to come detached right there just a little bit, but nothing major. Uh, so for those of you that like to sit on your couch and get a few things done, this is doable. Um, just keep in mind that it's going to be really top heavy right here, right? Because uh, one thing I forgot to mention too are the weights. So this tablet is 1.6 pounds and one more pound on top of that for this keyboard cover. So we're looking at 2.6 pounds with a majority of that weight being up top here. Whereas the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is 3.1 pounds and most of that weight is down on the chassis. So you feel it down right in your lap. However, once you get this situated and you get it in a secure spot in a comfortable resting area for yourself, I think it's totally doable. Not a problem at all. Is it as ideal as a laptop? No, no, but I think you're gonna, I don't think you'll have any issues getting some serious typing done at all. All right, so next up, I'm gonna do a comparison of the display side by side, and then we'll just wrap this up. All right, guys, now let's take a look at the displays, and we'll also check out the audio on both these devices. Right now, I've got the audio turned up to 100 on the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Uh, we have two royalty-free YouTube videos playing, same video on each device. You'll notice that on the Galaxy Book Pro 360, it takes up the whole screen because that's a 16 by nine aspect ratio whereas we have 16 by 10, and now we have an ad. Now the ad's gone, this is 16 by 10, so you notice we have little black bars at the top and bottom. We can get rid of them though in YouTube by zooming in. I'll go ahead and do that now so you guys can get a comparison of the full screen view. Right, now I'm gonna go ahead and mute the audio on the Galaxy Book Pro 360, and we'll crank it up on the Tab S8 Ultra now. Right, here we are getting close on the Tab S8 Ultra. Just take a look at the pixelization. Get a good idea of what you're looking at here. Let's go ahead and switch over to the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Same screen, same YouTube video. 
get around the edges here. Get in close. It looks pretty good. All right, guys, so which one do I recommend? Well, honestly, I recommend you get both of them because the uh, Tab S8 Ultra makes for a great second screen for the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Honestly, though, guys, it really comes down to your app selection. And also keep in mind the Galaxy Book Pro 2 is coming out now. Um, I would definitely get that over this original one. I have it showing up next week and we'll be doing some comparisons with it. But if you need a laptop, uh, I think you go with the 360. If you're looking for part-time laptop use but mostly want the tablet experience, the Ultra is going to be the better buy. E even though the 360 is a two-in-one and can do some tablet functionality, I'll do a separate video on that. But the reality is, is a tablet makes for a better tablet, the laptop makes for a better laptop. That's where my money would go if I were in your shoes, um, if you had to pick one or the other. Just keep your use case in mind, your favorite applications in mind, and what operating systems they're supported on. And if they're supported on both operating systems uh, and you can get by with it, I would probably lean just a little bit on the Tab S8 Ultra. It has a beautiful screen, the audio is better. You're gonna get a little bit better experience as far as multimedia goes and just having fun with it in addition to your productivity. However, if port selection is important to you, using external displays, stuff of that nature, the Galaxy Book Pro 360 or another laptop similar to it is gonna be a much better buy for you. All right guys, as always, thanks for watching.